Paleontologists from all over the world descend on Dinosaur Provincial Park every summer to look for fossils. And a team from McGill University hit pay dirt two summers ago. They discovered a 75 million year old dragonfly fossil, the first time one has ever been found in the park. Also, the first discovered in all of Canada. Kevin Fleming reports. It's taking two years of hard work to research their find. Andre Mueller is a master's student at McGill University studying paleontology. He and the team from the university made a big discovery in 2023, finding a fossil of what they thought might be the back wing of a dragonfly. I remember I was jumping up and down uh, for about a couple days after that find. It's like, oh my gosh, this is the best find ever. And I'm just fully just geeking out. But uh yeah, definitely morale was high that year, I'll say that. <laughs> Mueller headed the research project to identify the species of the prehistoric insect. I set out going through basically every paper on dragonflies from this period in the world. Uh, old Russian papers, you know, like trying to translate everything I can. And no, this thing was completely different. Uh, no anatomy uh, was like it. Not only was it a new species, it's the first dragonfly found in all of Canada. Their research study was recently published in the Canadian Journal of Earth Sciences. And the team got to name their dragonfly and chose to name it after a University of Alberta scientist and entomologist. So we named the dragonfly uh, Cordo alidensa acorni. Uh, Cordo alidensa meaning densely winged cordylid, which is the kind of dragonfly it's related to, and acorni after John Acorn. Mueller says the big dinosaurs like T-Rex get all the attention, but he says it's the smaller creatures and plants that help scientists develop a better understanding of what the prehistoric ecosystem looked like. The team from McGill returned to Dinosaur Provincial Park this last season and to the exact same spot where they found the dragonfly fossil in the hopes of finding more leaf fossils and insect fossils. Kevin Fleming, CTV News, Drumheller.